Hey, what's going everybody? My name is Kaz and welcome back to another Soda Online Memory Defrag video. Today we are very sweaty because it's very hot. But anyways, we got a new banner and we have a new event to go through today. But anyways, hopefully you're all having a fantastic day. I'm having a great day myself, except it's been very hot and I can't do anything about it. I opened my window and everything, it's still hot. A anyway, I hope you guys are having a great summer. You guys are still at school or maybe you're about to get out of school. You know, congratulations, you, you pass, hopefully. Unless you're mean, <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, today I was supposed to make this a really weird video using that Asuna rig thing you guys saw, like my video like two months ago. Only reason I'm not doing it now is because I'm actually making this video late. It's like 2 a.m. right now, I gotta quickly make this video so that's why everything's feel like might be rushed. I apologize. Anyways, today we have this new banner here, Heart Fluttering Poolside Scout containing Swimsuit Tisei and T Swimsuit Ronnie or Ronie. That's what they say in English dub. I gotta get these characters. I don't- I- after I saw them in Alicization, sure they're only there for like two, three episodes or something, but you know, I actually like them. I actually like them a lot in Alicization. So I hope I can get one of them today. But anyway, they have SS3 um, HP recovery on themselves. They have tracking circular, which if you don't remember what that was, it was the same move that Alice with the eye patch had with the, her little spin thingamabobber. And we'll, we'll see when we're going through the rest of the series, but they have that move and they can go to a max of 27 max combo, which is, you know, that's quite a bit. So these characters are mostly used to uh, generate combo, which is very useful for like rankings because the more combo you get, the more damage you deal. So anyway, and if you let me break them twice, they have damage counseling barrier, which makes them a little bit better because I love damage counseling barrier because they, they tend to save me a lot of the time. So that's why I do want them today. But anyway, so Roni or Ronnie, I don't know, I say Ronnie, but she's a uh, holy unit and Tisa here is a water unit. So this is like what, the third Tisa unit, second Ronnie unit. Very exciting, very cool, very nice. I hope I can get one today. And <laughs> I also hope to get Liz because I have her R5 weapon. But anyway, uh, Tisa and Ronnie, we have this new event here, Splashing Swordsman to get, you know, Sachi's uh, weapon over there. But anyway, now, without further ado, we gotta look at their stance, we gotta look at their SS3s, we gotta scout on them, hope for the best. So, let's see, Ronnie right here. Look how adorable she is. I'm more adorable though. And we also got Tisei's stance right here. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I think I, I do it way better. You know, I just have the heads in the way, that's so. Anyway, let's go, let's go look at their SS3s and all of that. We've got Active Smash. So this is the circular. Hopefully it shows. Wow. Okay, you see that little thing? And then if you go near them, it goes towards them. And it goes to a max of 27 hit combo. So, it's like a combination of like Swimsuit Yuki V2, uh, Swimsuit Yuki V1, I believe? No, it just reminds me of her for some reason. Except she doesn't go back and forth. Beach Ball does remind me of her. And yeah, so 13 hits uh, without the circular thing in the bobber. Anyways, now we got Tise here, Seaside Frolicking. Oh, she's making a sand castle. Oh, that's adorable. I didn't even see how much hit she did. That should be 27 though. So 57, 13 hits as well, I think. If I'm doing my math correctly. Yeah, this is so- like, after I used Eyepatch Alice, I realized how useful these type of characters can be because of combo generating. So, I kind of do want them. I like Tisei more, but it's probably because we didn't really get to see much of Ronnie because of Alicization. So, yeah, I gotta go all out on this banner. Hey, if I get one of them right now, maybe I go for R- <laughs> Maybe I'll go for another R5 weapon. What is wrong with me? I got no clue. Come on! One of them! God damn it, dude. God damn it. No, I wanted them. Damn it. Now I'm disappointed. Give me something. Oh, we got five. Okay. I I want to go again. Do a 250. But they do have raid up scouts. So I'm going to wait for that instead. I will get them. Keep that. Remember that. I will get I'm going to be spending all of my diamonds just for two units. Not the smartest move. But the Kaz's move. Yeah, we're going to call it that. The Kaz's move. If you're a Kaz, that means you're going for all the units <laughs> because you use some money. I mean, you don't even have to use- I don't- I, I just want them. Waifu collection, am I right? And then there's probably a ranking banner, you know, after the pre- the- the one right now. And it's probably gonna be more swimsuit units. 
and they're probably gonna be better than these two. But you know what? Screw it, dude. They can't tell me what I can and can't do. Oi! Now that I have your attention, let me tell you a little something. If you join my Discord, link in description by the way, there's that whole new Nitro thing or whatever it's called. My admins have been trying to, you know, use that Nitro boost thing on my Discord server. Right now we did reach level 1, so you guys... You guys were awesome. If you guys want to use your Nitro Boost and put it on the Kaz Nation Discord server, we'd really appreciate it. And also, they also added a new thing where if you join our voice channel, you can actually make your own voice channel. And you can add your friends if you want, or if you want you know, people to join you, you can. Or you can even change the perms so it's only you and your friends. And since we're level 1 on the Nitro Boost thing, I think the quality of the voice channel is a little better. Don't take me up on that though because I haven't really tested it. I, I think that's honestly cool because if you guys meet new people on my Discord and you, you, know, you want to do some events with each other, you can make your own little voice channel. And you know, you don't have to ask an admin to make your own private channel, blah blah blah, all that fun stuff. I hope you get what I mean. If you don't join my discord ask around admins are gladly there to help you i hope they're admins for a reason we're friendly uh, at least i think we're friendly probably tell who i was trying to aim for <coughs> you know my team here if you guys remember <laughs> got them at that one time and i had her because i didn't have any other tc ronnie unit there's a fly in my disc go away all right anyway now we got to go through their event which is gonna be pretty fun i guess so we got their event right here Flashing Swordsman Master. Master plus one, I believe, probably comes out in certain times. So if we hold on it, if you didn't know, if you hold on the quest thing, it shows this. Uh, it's a dark element boss. And you know what? We use Holy. And Holy is okay with me, I guess, in a way. They have tips. A lovely choker. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Giving two swimsuit units a choker. <laughs> Kinky. Hey, right. these are the times in UTC. Go and Google to do your little tra or translation, whatever. Uh, that that's the time for Master Plus One to come out. Here are some tips. So the boss can change between two different elements during battle. So the key to defeating them is to watch which element they are when you will have a chance to use your skill. It's more effective to try using with water element and holy element. So I didn't read the tips till now. So uh, yeah, this was the team I was gonna use, but since I found out. What is this? There was something in my hand and I think it was like... I think it was biting me? But it's so hot. Like, I don't even know what's in my room. I'm gonna die. Alright, since we can use water element characters, I'm going to bring my Yuki here. Because, you know, Yuki's the best character. <laughs> Biased opinion. Alright, let's hope for the best we can actually do. I think it starts off as a dark... or a holy element. So we have to use mostly uh, holy elements in the beginning and probably after half HP. I'm assuming this because I didn't read the tips till now. Probably half HP is when he changes to uh, fire. Oh wait, yeah, he starts off like that. Okay, I'm bad at this game. Restarting this boss because this boss ain't going right. Give me the freaking thesis. Okay, anyway. Sorry, this is really hot right now and then, you know, I'm <laughs> there's not a lot of time. Anyway, this boss likes to rush at you for its first parry move, then you parry to the you can do your SS3s. Right now, it starts off as a dark element, and once it reaches about half HP, it starts to change into a fire element to which you use uh, your water characters. So right now, he's gonna back up here, and I'm gonna front just to parry the crap out of him. Get wrecked. Nerd. Okay, so we do that. We're gonna go back and forth. Despite my water, Yuki only has one more SS3. I hope this goes to half HP, no? Hey, stop it. Okay, this is where you know he starts changing. Oh! Okay, the thing that sucked is that I lost my, my combo. God dang it. Okay, now we gotta bring him back. Now we go to Water Yuki. So, when he starts spinning with that big AoE, that's how you know he switches the element. Not that though. <laughs> Let's go behind him and then parry that. He's still fire element, so we're still good. I believe. I hope. Okay, I don't have any more SS3s on Yuki. I think. Okay, this is where he switches back. Can you stop? Now I'm on over 45 seconds. I hate you. You make me sad. Like Kurt's a cowardly dog. Dang dog, you make me look bad. Ooga booga booga. Yeah. 
But yeah. Did you guys like that one video? If you guys don't remember, I had a video where I had my face cam change us and it was, you know, making this video. Did you guys like that video? Because I was thinking of doing that again. I mean, you guys seem to have liked it, which was like two months ago. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're in for a treat if I do that again. But we'll see. But anyway, I promised I'd do daily uploads. Or not daily uploads, but you know, I'd upload more frequently. It's probably been like three or four days since my last upload. I'm sorry. <laughs> There hasn't been much updates, but I won't lie, I've been- I was playing Minecraft, which is why this video's been coming out late. I got my own server to play with my friends, so maybe I'll stream that or something if we're playing a lot of that. Yeah, that's right, Minecraft! <laughs> you remember back in the day. Anyway, if you do all these, you get about 20 diamonds, and if you go through the whole story event, that's 60. So you get about 80 diamonds doing this whole event. So if we go here, I didn't do the story yet, so I only get- oh, 25. Oh yeah, because of the event points. I think there's some missions? Yeah, there is. So you guys want to do that, because you can get some of these stuff too. Hey, let me let me tell you something, how this game works if you're new to the game. Every time there's a new ranking, next there's a bait banner that comes with a new event, and that event, you can get those metal characters, uh, such as Sachi. You know, you get a better chance to get that Sachi. So you want to grind this event, although, although, yeah, the banner might be bait. The event here is worth getting if you want to get the middle character. So at least level 95 or 90 if you're not, like, that high in, like, the ranking, like, you know, top 5 or even top 10, maybe. You can get it to level 90 or 95. I don't know, lately I've just been top 3 in ranking, so. Anyway, if we grind 50,000 event points, to be honest, it gives us 700 without any of the new units. So, if you can get Tisa or Ronnie and you do this event, you get 1400 event points and probably 1600 if you do Master Plus 1. So, it's actually not that bad to grind this event. I mean, it's a little tedious, but you know, do it in multi, you'll do great. Anyways, I'm gonna end off this video here. Thank you all for watching this video of Sword Out Online Memory Defrag. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, let me know you guys enjoy and want to see some more. Subscribe to the new channel, don't forget to turn on notifications so you guys miss a video from this channel, as well as join in my Discord at the very bottom of the description. Click on that link, you'll be sent right to the Discord. But anyways, everybody, also follow my other socials such as Twitch and Twitter, at Castle Online, all links down in the description below. That I mentioned that my I got my Twitch channel back. So yeah, I, I could be streaming there again, Kaz2 Online, woo! Anyways, thank you all for watching, my name is Kaz, hopefully you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys all again in the very next video, and I keep forgetting to change the damn character on the right side, I'll change it in the next video. I just realized that.